Uh, Paul Dumbrell, that's going to hurt Jamie in championship terms. 18. A look at highlights of the super cheap auto Bathurst 1000. It was a chaotic start. McLaughlin eventually found a way past Dean Cando, who started the race. Some fluid was down. David Wall was out of the game early. The fluid made it tough for Renee Gracie to negotiate Forrest's elbow. Simona Di Salvestro was disappointed. They would repair. They would get those Harvey Norman Supergirls back out and back in the race. Shane Van Gisbergen gets the thumbs up. John O'Webb, look at this. Contact between the HRC Commodore, which would finish on the podium. But it was a big hello and welcome to the Bathurst 1000 for Macaulay Jones. Hard stopping moment for Russell Ingle. James Courtney watching on. Jack Perkins was able to keep going. They just missed out on the top 10. This one took the wild cards from last year. In for the full season this year. Super Black Racing out of the game. Will Davison thought the gap was there. Thought the invitation was to move down the inside of Ollie Gavin. But damage to the triple two. They started outside the top 10. The Pepsi Max crew with some of Chas Mostert's team working would gradually get him into the top 10. Big damage to the outfit that finished in the top 10 in that cool drive Commodore at the Sandown 500. The game changed with the arrival of rain and they were big sells too. We thought the rain would be a lot heavier. It was a real fight, Neil, wasn't it, for pit position here to avoid the stacking and Jono Webb ran off going into the chase, but Shane Van Gisbergen fought back hard to get ahead of the 17. That was a tremendous exchange between those two. They thoroughly enjoyed it, and so did we. And they were trying to make sure they could get to the pit lane first. So weather was a factor. There were little mistakes, a bit of push and shove as always. A lot of cars getting into strife at the top today. Great pressure run there between Craig Lowndes and uh, car kind number of 55. So David Ooh. Reynolds. Didn't quite have the pace today, but to how's that for a lucky escape for Jack Perkins just tagging the wall at McPhillamy, and this one was not a lucky escape for Scott Pyatt. How's this? Massive contact, and it actually dislodged the driver cooling, and this was the controversial moment we heard from Jamie Wincup a moment ago. He's su suggesting that it's a green light that he saw, and that's the reason he rocked on by. But uh, clearly not the case. So Lowndes bolted away, and uh, you can see the frustration there for Dean Canto, and got that cushion, and that was one that he was able to use to maintain control. That was a terrific exchange involving Tanda, Coulthard. At one stage there, they looked like they were going to be three wide in that battle at turn two. He was already a legend, and this just cemented it. Craig Lowndes wins. Stephen Richards partnering him to a superb victory in the Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000. Lowndes is sixth, Stephen Richards fourth. A great day for Red Bull Racing. Their first Bathurst win since 2012. It means a huge amount. The crowd cheering for the legend, Lowndes.